I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the October 2020 U.S. exam calculator section. College Board gives us this awkward system of equations, and they ask for the product of these two expressions. And these are just ugly to work with, so I'm going to write x equals one-third t plus five, and y equals one-half u minus four, and work with those because that makes this x plus y equals 37, and x minus y equals 19, and this is much, much easier to work with. If I add these two systems together, that will eliminate the variable y, giving me 2x equals 56, so x equals 28. And if x equals 28, I can put that back into either equation, 28 plus y equals 37, subtract 28 from both sides, and y equals 9. Let's try that in the second equation. 28 minus 9 is 19, so I have the correct values of x and y, and what they're asking for is xy, which is 9 times 28, and I'm going to my calculator for that, and I get 252. Once I've done this substitution, I can solve in a variety of other ways. Since this is a graphing calculator question, I can solve both equations for y. y equals 37 minus x, and y equals x minus 19. If I graph these, I can find the point of intersection, and I'll do that. 37 minus x and x minus 19. And I'll take my window to positive 50 for x and 50 for y. And the graph looks something like this. And if I use the intersect feature on a graphing calculator, which is not required, as you saw, I just did this by hand, I get xy equals 28, 9. Same answer I got by hand. I can also use matrices. If I take the system x plus y equals 37, x minus y equals 19, the corresponding matrix is 1x gives me 1, 1y one gives me 1 equals 37, 1x negative 1y equals 19, and if I take reduced row echelon form of that matrix, if there is a solution, I'll give, get something with 1, 0, 0, 1. And then re reduced row echelon form shows me matrix edit as a 2 by 3, 1, 1, 37, and 1, negative 1, 19. Quit out of there, go back into matrix. Go right to math if you have a calculator that does matrix operations. And reduce row echelon form on the matrix I just created gives me 1, 0, 0, 1, and 28, 9. Undoing what I did to go from the original system to the matrix, this means 1x plus 0y equals 28, and 0x plus 1y equals 9. Same solution. College Board often asks questions involving systems of equations. This one looks particularly awkward, but keep in mind that if it looks particularly awkward, that's often a signal that there's an easy shortcut if you find the trick. And come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.